Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, we're gonna talk about collecting content from your client during a website build project. Now, any of us that do client work, we know that content collection can be one of the toughest points to get past during a project. And often, uh, in my experience, you sometimes end up waiting weeks or in extreme cases, months for the client to deliver content so that you can wrap up the project, which is just a headache and a nightmare. So there are a few things you can do to help with this. The first one is during your initial contact with a client, make sure you set expectations as to where this content is coming from. Find out if they have their content. Maybe they have a bunch of it that's been written professionally and is good to go. Maybe they're working on it and they know what they need to generate. Or maybe they have nothing. And it's important for you to know where they're at on that spectrum. If they have nothing, then in your proposal, you could potentially include uh, fees for generating the content that they'll need. Now, note if you're rebuilding a site that already has content, you can often just take that content and work from that. So that simplifies the process a little bit. It's also not a bad idea to include some timelines and some cutoffs in your proposal that let the client know how long they have to deliver the content before some sort of repercussion occurs. This gives them a tangible deadline to work with and helps keep things from going off the rails. Now, another thing that can help with content procurement and creation even is a site map. And a tool I really like for that is called Flowmap, which does a lot more than just site maps, but its site maps are really, really good. So here's one that I actually used for a client project during the discovery phase so that I could generate a scope document. This helped me map out everything that was on their existing site and identify technologies that I would need as well as content. If you click on one of these uh, nodes, you can see that uh, Flowmap allows you to even build out kind of a list of structure elements for the page. So this really gives you a good idea of what's gonna be on each page and what you're gonna need from the client. So tools like this are really, really handy. And ultimately, it's just really important to communicate well with your clients, make sure they know what's expected of them, and sometimes you just need to hold their hands a little bit through the process of getting all that content ready. Now, one technique I've used in the past, which can be kind of handy if you don't get all the content up front when you're building a site, is to set up a simple content review mode on your website. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this with Oxygen. I have a demo site with some pages and some content here, and I'm gonna jump into the main template, and we're gonna do some uh, trickery with a code block here to add a content review class. So let's edit this with Oxygen. Now this is our main template, so this code block is gonna be output everywhere. And probably once the site's done, you would wanna remove it. But while it's in, say, a review phase where you're waiting on the client to review what's on the site and maybe provide replacements for placeholder content, this can be uh, really handy. So we're gonna insert a code block and it doesn't matter where it is on the page. We're going to go to PHP and HTML and we're gonna get rid of this default echo. Now what we wanna do is we wanna check for a URL parameter. So we're gonna say if dollar sign underscore get and then the URL parameter is gonna be content dash review. So we're just checking if it's present, we don't care about the value. And then we're gonna do some stuff in here. And we're gonna break out of our PHP and output some HTML and specifically we're going to output an inline style tag. So we're going to do style, close that. And then we're going to go ahead and style a class called review. Okay. So we're going to add some styles for that. And basically all we want to do is outline this uh, in a way that's visible so that the client knows, oh, that's something that I need to take a look at and either approve or, you know, whatever your process is. This just draws attention to the elements with this class. So we're going to do border two pixels dashed red. And then since we might apply this to images, we're going to do image dot review. And just to make it a little more apparent, we're going to add some padding to images that have this class of like, I don't know, four pixels. So that'll make sure that our, uh, our dash outline isn't just butted up right against the image. Now, basically, if this content review URL parameter is present, 
anything with the review class is then going to have this outline. So let's save this and let's jump back over to the admin panel. And we're going to go to a page that has some content that we want to have reviewed. So let's just do this general content one and edit it with oxygen. Now let's go ahead and add the review class to a couple of things here. So we're going to add it in review since it's the first time we're adding it. It doesn't show up in the autocomplete, but on the remainder of the content, we can just click it, type RE, click review. We want to review this image. We want to review this text and say we're not sure about this headline. Uh, maybe we want to make sure that they like the wording we use there. So let's save that and then jump over to the front end and we'll refresh since I already had this up. Now you can see there's no visible changes even though we added that class. So what we need to do in the URL, we add a question mark, content dash review equals true. Now the value doesn't matter much. We're not really checking for that. It just needs to have a value so that our code finds it. Now, if you send this URL to a client, say you want them to review this page and you send it to them with this URL parameter appended, they're gonna see these outlines, which is super handy. And you can say anything with a red outline needs your approval. If you have any problems with any of it, just let me know and we can make adjustments or uh, in the cases where I've used this, a lot of times the content is placeholder content and I'm telling them, listen, anything with a red dashed outline is placeholder content and it needs to be replaced by your own stuff. And the nice part is you're not going to interrupt your design if they're actually reviewing the design as well. They just need to visit it without the URL parameter and you're not going to have those outlines. And again, I'd recommend removing that code block just because it's not needed. Once the content review and everything is done and the site's live, um, but if you forget, well, nobody's ever gonna know the difference because it's not actually doing anything unless that URL parameter is present. So those are some tips on content collection and content review when you're building a site with WordPress and specifically how to implement a nice little content review class in Oxygen that utilizes a URL parameter to determine the visibility of some dashed outlines. Thank you very much for watching.